Today I will tell you a story of a guy named Leo. Leo, a young software engineer with big dreams. He loved building things, mobile apps, web platforms and even small kids. But coding was tricky even for someone as skilled as Leo. No matter how much experience he had, he kept running into bugs and inefficiencies that made his applications crash or run slowly. He would spend hours staring at his computer screen, debugging line after line of codes, trying to figure out where things went wrong. One day, Leo heard about Cursor AI, a powerful code editor that could help him code faster and smarter. Unlike regular code editors, Cursor AI didn't just highlight errors, it understood the code deeply. It could analyze problems, suggest better solutions, and even write sections of code for him. Feeling curious, Leo decided to give it a try. He opened Cursor AI and loaded his project, which had been stuck for days due to a tricky bug. Almost instantly, Cursor AI flagged the error in the code and suggested an efficient fix. Not only that, it also recommended a cleaner way to structure his code, making it easier to read and less prone to future bugs. Leo followed the suggestions and his app started running flawlessly. In fact, Cursor AI helped him optimize the entire project, making the application faster and smoother than before. Tasks that would usually take hours like debugging, refactoring and testing were now completed in minutes. Before I tell you that you too can code in minutes like Leo just for your information. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are really interested in fast tracking your career in AI and machine learning, then this is the perfect opportunity for you. Simply Learn's professional certification program in generative AI and machine learning in collaboration with E and ICT Academy IIT Guwahati is designed to give you hands-on experience with tools like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Hugging Face, Delhi, 2 and more. Over the course of 11 months, you will engage in the live virtual classes with IIT Guwahati faculty and industry experts, work on 25 plus projects and participate in exclusive IBM hackathons and Ask Me Anything sessions. Not only you will earn a prestigious program completion certificate from IIT Guwahati, but you will also have the chance to immerse yourself in the campus experience and earn executive alumni status. With Simply Learn's Job Assist, you will stand out to the top employers and be at the forefront of the AI-driven future to unlock your future opportunities and take the next step in your AI journey. In this video, I will let you know what Cursor AI is and your ultimate guide to use it as a beginner. So let's jump into the video. Let us understand what is Cursor AI. Cursor AI is a smart coding assistant that speeds up your workflow by suggesting code completions, fixing bugs, and optimizing code in real time. It supports multiple languages, helps with code reviews, and even generate documentation, making coding faster, easier, and more efficient for developers of all levels. Well, after we have a basic understanding of Cursor AI, let us explore more. I will first take you to the browser, and in that, you need to search for Cursor AI. And the first official website that will appear is www.cursor.com. You need to click on it and obviously download it. It is a free and you need to sign in as you are using their model. So it is very important to log in before uh, exploring their model. After you download and install it, I will show you what screen you are going to get. Yeah. This is the visual representation of Cursor AI, the code editor. And it somewhat looks like VS Code. If you have seen VS Code before, it almost looks like this. This is basically your project section. And yeah, obviously file edit, selection view, go run and everything. So initially, it is very important to start with the basics. So obviously, you're using a new application for the first time. It is very important to learn the uh, cursor settings. So to see the cursor settings, for that, press Command Shift plus P. Command Shift plus P. Yeah, see, 
it will direct you to a menu bar on the top of the application and search there as cursor settings. See, it is already available. So, cursor settings. So, basically, cursor setting has four types of settings, general, models, features, and beta. So, initially, start with this general. Uh, account, basically, it the account shows like through what in Gmail account you have logged in. And um, currently, I'm using this pro trial and it is basically of two weeks, I guess, for free. And after that, if you want to use it, then you can use it like upgrading to pro. And after that, there is VS Code import. Uh, this is basically for uh, like if you have VS Code in this in this particular laptop or um, system you're using, then you can obviously import the type of uh, like um, extensions or key bindings you have there. You can generally import it. And after that comes rules for AI. This is basically the section where you can like tell or instruct the cursor AI what are the things you want or even what are the things you don't want. Like for example, if you're working on a particular project and you only want to like use a particular language, then you can just type there, like I will show you. Use only React.js. So basically you can write there and it will automatically get saved, but obviously I won't be using that. And after that comes the, a very important part. There is a privacy mode. It is already written, if on, none of your code will be stored by us. If off, we may save prompts or collect telemetry data to improve cursor. So obviously I don't want my data to get to them. So obviously I have enabled it. If you have no problem in showing your data to the cursor, so you can obviously disable it. Then I will show you about the models. This is basically the section where you can see what are the type of models, API models you're using or it is getting used. And even you can even add your own model and see like uh, open AI API key, Anthropic uh, API key, Google API, oh wow, this is nice. Azure API key, they're almost there. Let's come to beta. This is basically a section where if any of the new features like uh, get uh, upgraded in cursor AI, then you can obviously see it over here. And uh, it is like a default setting is disable, so let it be, <laughs> like don't have to uh, do anything. So after you have seen the cursor uh, settings, I will uh, take you to see the actual uh, presentation where you can actually code more faster than any of the editors. So I will take you to see a magic. So let's start. So I will cross it. I will now show you why Cursor AI is the next code editor. For that, press Control Shift I. And you can see the composer. It is named as composer. You can write here any instructions or comments that you want Cursor AI to execute. So basically, you can give prompts like create a particular website for me using this, this, this. So I will let you understand with an example. Create. A simple retro game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I hope it does. And enter. See, it has even started to build this game. Pong style, retro style Pong game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, it has already made index.html. And it has been building with uh, JS, I mean JavaScript. Okay, it has only used HTML and JavaScript. Okay, I want it to use, use CSS2 for better appearance. Obviously, CSS is the thing you need to, okay. It has already started linking. Okay. Here's the code for the game. Okay, maybe some confusion has occurred. Okay. Okay, it has used CSS as a... Okay. It has not made a different file. So I wanted to make a CSS as a different file. 
I want a separate file for CSS. Okay, now see, it has actually executed what I said. Okay. Now, after you have got it, you can just accept all and see if it is actually working or not. So let's start, accept all. After that, you can close this composer window and you will find that uh, files already in your project section. See, it is there. If you want to like run the game and see if it is actually getting and the code is running or not and the uh, game is playable or not, you need to download uh, one extension yeah, here, uh, like live server. Yeah, I have already installed it. You need to just install it and you can, uh, you are ready to go. Let's come back and right click on the index.html and open with live server. Okay, see, it's nice. Oh, okay. wow. Move your mouse up and down to control the left paddle first to 10 points. First to 10 points win. Okay. This is nice. So I want basically my game. It is uh, glowing. Yeah. So I want to use one theme. So see if it can. Let's see. After the game is basically made, you can just use your imagination or your creativeness on how you can design your game. So, Control Shift I. Yeah. The, wow, the game is nice. I don't know why I'm appreciating, but yes, you need to appreciate because it did so much work for you. Oh, wow, the game is nice. I want you to use Harry Potter theme. I think everyone knows Harry Potter and I don't I want it basically to use Harry Potter theme in the game and submit. So it has started formulating it. I think it is nice. Oh, okay, accept all. And now you can cross it and let's see. Open with live server. Wow, see. Oh, it is nice. See, it is almost green and yellow, the type of that is used in Harry Potter and everything. See, it is nice. And it is also written golden snitch. Wow, it is nice. So basically you can do anything. You can even use a particular type of uh, like font. You can do anything. Let's see how we can improve it. Control Shift I. Yeah, this is nice. Can you just use the font style used in Harry Potter movie? I hope it does. And I understand. Yeah, it is trying. Because of the copyright, maybe it fully can't, but yeah, it is trying. Let's see, accept all, cross it, and right click and open with live server. Okay, maybe there's a difference there. There is a difference, I can see. Fine, it is nice. Ah. So in this way, you can just command it and do anything. You can even uh, like attach files, I guess. You can over here, you can just uh, uh, use either it and you can uh, like upload files, folders, code, web, like the, you can, uh, attach, you can either it web and you can even uh, tell uh, it to take a picture from the website and replicate it, use that, that for reference and anything. So it basically depends upon your designing and your creativeness, how you want to make it, and it will just code for you. This is the power of AI. So you can do anything over here, I believe.
it will help you to code much 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 faster so this we have come to the end of this video do like and subscribe to the channel till then make something cool with cursor ai and stay tuned with simply learn staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.